time to suit up all you mentees and talk about one brand new Marvel Omnibus coming out in February of 2023. So let's go ahead and get started. This video is sponsored by Marvel Comics, so thank you so much to David Gabriel and the fine folks of Marvel for sending us advanced notification of this omnibus coming out next February. Before going any further, hit that like button, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, share the video, let others know where you get your breaking news in the world of the Marvel Collected Editions. That's here, near Mint condition, the home of Collected Editions. And stay away from the comment section, just in case you want to be surprised, then by all means, comment away. Let us know about the what you think about the book, uh, which cover you're going to get, what you think about the mapping, and all that good stuff. So, uh, this book right here is one that I've been asked about for the last couple of years. Uh, here and there I get asked if this book ever has a chance of coming out in omnibus format because it's been released in trade paperbacks, it's been released in graphic novel format, those are the smaller, um, like, they're, uh, the smaller size books that are, uh, I think they're geared more towards kids, and they, they show up at Scholastic Fair, so as a matter of fact, I saw this title at my daughter's last Scholastic Fair, um, uh, that she had, that I was, uh, volunteering at, that was a lot of fun, but anyway, um, it's been released in oversized hardcover format, and it is a book, I think, that is mostly all ages so here it finally is to answer the question if this book ever has a chance of coming out in omnibus format yes it does next february the unbeatable squirrel girl omnibus from marvel so before going any further let's take a look at the standard edition cover first here we have the standard edition cover by erica henderson this is the cover that's going to be available everywhere and she was one of the main artists. Actually, she did a lot of issues on the book. So, speaking of a lot of issues, this is a biggie. This is a big, unbeatable omnibus. Uh, let's take a look at the content. So, this collects the Unbeatable Squirrel Girl 1 through 8, uh, the Unbeatable Squirrel Girl 2015 B series 1 through 50. That's when the series was relaunched. The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl beats up the Marvel Universe one shot, the Howard the Duck. Uh, Issue number six, so it's got the crossover there. Material from A Year of Marvel's Unbeatable, number one, and Nod Brand Ech, number 14. One day I'll pronounce that right. Uh, but before we go any further, let's take a look at the direct market cover. So this is the cover that's only going to be available in the direct market. So this is by the legendary Arthur Adams, and it showcases Squirrel Girl and all the foes she has defeated over the years. Uh, all right, so let's talk about this particular series. So this is the adventures of Doreen Green after pretty much being forced off of the Avengers team and just going to college with her sidekick, the little squirrel, because she has the ability to talk to the squirrels. This little squirrel's name is Tippy Toe. Uh, so this was a character that was created in the 90s uh, by Steve Ditko and uh, Will Murray. And... I think they were trying to get a lighter character out there because they noticed that the Marvel Universe or the comics in general were just had darker and uh, grittier characters. So they created the exact opposite in Squirrel Girl. Then she wasn't seen for a long time. Brian Michael Bendis brought her back in the pages of Avengers and then she got her own ongoing series. So most of this, and I say most of this, like 99% of this is written by Ryan North. Uh, a lot of it is drawn by uh, Erica Henderson, who we saw uh, did the standard edition cover. Uh, but you also have Chip Sadarsky write some of this. Uh, you have the artwork of Jacob, uh, Jacob Sh uh, Shabbat, Kyle Starks, uh, Derek Charm, Michael Cho, just to name a few of the other artists that worked on this book. This is a big book, just looking at all that content. So... It's everything from the Squirrel Girl series in 2015 and forward, moving forward. So after Secret Wars, the 2015 Secret Wars. So in the comments, let me know if you've read this, what you think about the series, if you've never read it. My oldest daughter loved the graphic novels. Uh, I think she reviewed one or two of them and she really liked them. And like I said, I saw them at the Scholastic Fair. So I think this is one of the books that either parents or kids can enjoy or maybe together. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you're picking it up. Don't forget to pre-order when pre-orders are available, which cover you're going to get, uh, what you think of the mapping. It's a big book, so 
I don't think there's anything else really that they could have added in here. Uh, this was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to Marvel Comics for sending us uh, this advanced notification. Everyone stay healthy and safe out there. Much love. <laughs>